Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WooCommerce Theme Development. In the previous videos, we have learned about how to create a single page, single blog post page and a blog page. In this video, we're going to talk about how to add comments on your single blog post page. So generally, if you have a WordPress theme like this in the backend, you have automatically got all those comments through that theme template, comments.php. However, since we are into a decoupled environment, we'll need to build this. We'll need to provide the support for comments. So just before we start building these comments with this comment form, uh, there's just one warning that we've been getting for quite some time now, and I think it's time we fix it. So if you take a look when you run the npm run dev, you get this warning, uh, invalid next.js config options detected. Now, we had upgraded our next.js version quite for quite some time ago. And um, I think this is something we had to do this. We had to update this, this part as well. We were getting this warning. So it says root value has unexpected property web pack dev middleware. So if you take a look at the next dot config dot js file you see this webpack dev middleware uh, property um, looks like that this is no longer supported uh, which we had added in the previous versions of next.js we had to look for a supported value so what is supported so if you take a look at this allowed property list we have webpack here so webpack is supported now if you look at the documentation uh, you can see that whenever you want to extend the usage of webpack you can define a function like this webpack so I think all we have to do is just replace this webpack dev middleware with just webpack. And now, since the configuration has changed, if I run the npm run dev again, you'll notice that we no longer have that warning because we just fixed that, which is great. Okay. Brilliant. So that's sorted. So that's out of the way. Now, what we want to do is we want to build a feature for the comments. We want to build a feature to be able to get the comments and then we we'll, should be able to post a comment now this is all front end part or displayed and to post a comment but in order for us to do that it would require an api how when you wanted blog posts you had an api to fetch the blog post if you wanted to. so similarly uh, if you want to get the comments and post a comment you will require two endpoints one is get endpoint and second is post endpoint so let's build that so if you go to the, this pull request, which is pull request number 42, which is there on the GitHub, uh, go to the utilsblog.js. So what we're going to do is close this one, open the blog utils.js, and we're going to paste this function first. Okay. Get post by slug. In fact, let's just paste both of these functions and I'll explain them to you. Okay. So copy both of these functions come towards the end of this file and just paste it okay now this function is responsible get comments are responsible to get the comments and post comment is responsible to post a comment okay now of course these functions are going to need the endpoint so let's add them to our list so comments endpoint we are going to Go to our endpoints.js, endpoints.js, and just add this comments endpoint. So what is this endpoint? This is actually the default WordPress core endpoint, where uh, if you go to your backend URL, root URL, so let's go to the backend root URL and just put the wpjson v2 comments, and then you should be able to get all the comments, okay? And of course, if you want a specific comments, you can get that comment by the comment uh, post uh, by the post ID. You can get all the comments actually. These are all the comments. And if you want to get comments for a specific post, you can get that by the post ID. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, just just pull this comments endpoint. Okay, so I'm going to do an insert import for this one. So up top, it's already imported the comments endpoint. And I think it's better to just put them into multiple lines since they have become large in number. Okay, so like that. Excellent. So now that we have the comments endpoint, all this function is doing this one right here is just making a request get request to this comments endpoint passing the post ID. So let's say that we had this post, which is 
if this is a counselor if I edit this post let me get the post ID so it's 377 so if I say post equals 377 now I'm gonna get all the post only for this but now I'm gonna get all the comments only for this particular post so you can see you've got like one two three four five six seven comments okay uh, so there are seven comments for this post and we've got all of that so that's all that that is doing here We're just making a request and if the, uh, the status is 200 we return that data otherwise we return the error message now the next thing is to post a comment to post a comment again the same endpoint will be used but this time it's going to be a post request and we're going to pass some of the information so if you take a look at the wordpress rest api comments and you look for the post request post request so here is the create a comment uh, create a comment uh, request and these are the arguments that you can pass so what are the things you need to pass well you can pass the post id you can pass the parent of the post in case if you have threaded comments it will be helpful if you pass the parent because if you don't pass the parent it will not know uh, so in this tutorial we are not going to do the threaded comment but in future in the future uh, if we want to do it we we, we can use by passing this of course if the data is available we can build that uh, by default when you're listing comments through the wordpress score rest api for comments it doesn't give us the comments in a threaded structure okay it just gives us one uh, one after the other uh, so in the future if we happen to build a custom endpoint that allows us to get the comments in a threaded structure we could but for now we'll just stick to comments one one below the other and uh, but otherwise if you know that if you reply to a specific comment then it just becomes a thread right so uh, when you're replying it uh, you need to know what comment are you replying to this so that's your that goes under the parent comment id so if you're replying to this this comment then it's going to go under that um, comment okay then you have the content of the comment you have the author email date author url which is your website url so um and then you have the author name etc so if you open this in igno incognito mode because this is logged in so logged in you're not going to get all the information because if user is logged in then of course he gets to skip some of the fields such as name email etc because you already know that but let's open this in incognito mode uh, where we are not logged in and um, in the comment form you can see that you require name email address website etc we close that one so so that's why we require the author url author name date email address etc okay of course you're not going to ask the date to the user uh, date will be the current timestamp of whatever time he's posting the comment okay so then you send the success message you send the data of the comments that was posted uh, and then in case if there's any errors then you return that so that's all that is happening for uh, getting the comments and posting the comment uh, so now that we have these endpoints let's start building the front end part of it to display the comments so in the next video we're going to start building the front end part where we display the comments okay so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already do star my repository to support my work my repository address is next year's woocommerce rest api which is this one and do follow me on github and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much bye, -bye.